In this next tutorial video for the Zoom K camera, I'll be showing you how to charge it, how to transfer material to your computer, and uh, the memory card. Now to charge this camera, it has to be turned off. You can't charge the camera uh, while it's on. So just shut off the camera and you're ready to charge it. You're gonna have the charge USB cable. Uh, this small end will go into the back of the camera, which is also why you'll need to make sure the microphone is pushed up uh, you know when you're done charging with the camera you want to shut it down you can just push the button hold it bring the microphone back down but in order to charge it push the button lift up the uh, microphone because you're going to need to access the uh, charge port uh, and in this charge port is right at the top All right so this is one in the camera the other end now here is going to plug into your computer or your laptop's usb port Now you'll see with the camera, the red charge button is going on. It'll probably take, it'll take a couple of hours for it to fully charge, but once it's finished charging, you'll see that red light disappear when it's finished charging. And of course, you can also open up the battery. Well, you can unplug it, uh, turn it back on to check the battery status. Now, in terms of transferring uh, content to your computer, if you have videos that you've saved on the camera and you want to transfer it, there's two ways. Uh, first way is the SD card slot. You can uh, open it on the bottom of the camera. There's a little gap here. You'll just pop it open, finger or a pen or a device. Pull the flap down. The uh, micro SD card is here. This little black knob. You're going to push the card. It will pop out. You'll see that uh, this... So the way it works is that this is a micro SD card. You'll see the little gray red card. You can just, again, use your finger a sharp device pull it out this is the micro sd card and um, that goes essentially into the sd card uh, this is a 32 gigabyte card and this is a good size in terms of storage space so i'll just pop it back in now if you have a laptop that has an sd card port you can just put the sd card in there um I'll transfer the information um, again, again in this case um, they've got it labeled as a micro sd um, Again, this is the SD card, this is the micro SD card, but essentially it's a combined uh, micro SD card. But in any case, you have a laptop, you can insert that. In this case, this computer doesn't have a SD card slot, so what you can do is just use the uh, cables to transfer it. So you want to make sure your SD card is uh, in the camera, of course, to transfer your material off. Just push it back in until it locks and clicks all the way close that to uh, access your camera's video and of course if you're not you know recording you can just cover the lens it's just a protective lens well, what you can do is when your camera's plugged in and it's charging just turn it on you're going to see it's going to give you options of card reader webcam or usb mic you're going to want to press card reader to access the memory card so just tap it once. It's going to ask you, are you sure, card reader? Press card reader. Again, you'll hear on your camera, you'll hear your computer uh, highlight. You'll see, you'll sometimes get a notification. Um, it said Zoom Q8. Uh, in any case, to act, so you could click on that icon you just saw, the Zoom Q8, or you can go into your computer's um, storage unit. So you can click on a folder, open a folder, wherever it may be, and you're going to see um, at the corner of the screen where it says zoom where it says q8 sd card that's in reference to the camera so just so you can see a little better where you see q8 sd that's your card so what you're going to want to do now is click on the folder for q8 sd you're going to click on the DSIM folder because that's the camera storage unit. You're going to click on where it says 100 zoom. Again, this is Zoom Q8. And you're going to see that I already have a list of videos here. They're an MOV file. So to transfer it now, you'll just click on a video, for example, and you're going to drag it onto your computer's either desktop or in your laptop desktop, depending on what you're using. You'll see that it's transferring over the video. 
transfer is complete. From here, you could delete the videos that you don't want or you don't need from the camera, or you can manually delete it in the camera. Um, again, going back to the playback button. If you want to eject the camera, uh, you'll right click over the camera. And so in, in your folder panel on the left hand side, you'll cl right click on Q8 SD and click eject to eject the camera. Safe to remove, you can unplug it. Uh, in the meantime, I'll just continue to leave this to let it charge. But now, if you go into your video folder, you'll see the video is here. Uh, zoom. All three. Now, you may notice, uh, with depending on software you're using, you may have issues when you first open the video file. Uh, some computer software programs will only play the audio and not the actual visual. You might get this error. The issue is because of the video file format. So it's a little hard to hear. You can hear the video, you can hear the audio, but not see the video. The issue is because when on the camera itself, when you create a video, it's created and saved as an MOV movie file, which you might have seen earlier. Now to fix a solution is pretty straightforward. You just need to convert the video file from an MOV to an MP4 or a file format that's most, recon that's most recognized by your computer. So there are very uh, various different websites you can use. For example, um, Cloud Convert is an example of a website I found that converts MOV files to MP4. So in any case, you would just simply, uh, and this is just an example, uh, you know, select the file from your computer, zoom 03. I've got the video. I'm going to convert it to an MP4. Uh, this process usually takes a couple of minutes, but once it uploads the video, it processes it, it converts it to uh, from an MOV to an MP4 format because MP4 formats are most um, wide, more widely recognized and used by computers. So once the video uploads, processes, you can download it and you'll be able to use the video. Uh, you'll be able to actually see the audio and the... Uh, you'll be able to hear the audio and see the video. Um, again, some computer programs, for example, Windows uh, Media... Player won't necessarily it will only play just the audio and not show you the video. Um, other programs, uh, for example, like VLC Media Player, they'll even if the video format is an uh, MOV, it will show and play. But just for general purposes, if you know, just to have a, a more uniform platform usage, if you're trying to play the video either on Windows Media Player or Microsoft Films and TV, whatever the movie app is. Yeah, generally you'll probably be better off just converting the MOV file to an MP4 format. So again, bringing it online, you know, the file will take a couple minutes to upload. But again, when the time comes and the video is uploaded, it will process. Um, you can essentially download it to your computer into a MP4 format and you'll be able to play. You'll be able to hear the video and you'll be able to see it. So again, overall, this is basically the process of charging the camera, transferring your material and your content from your camera to the computer. And again, uh, once this video is uploaded process, you'll see a green button will appear that says download. Uh, you can just click on the download button and then when it's asking where you want to save it, you can save it to your video folder and then the video is ready to go and you can play it. So you'll see now the video has already been uploaded, uh, the MOV file. And right now it's processing as it's converting to an MP4 and then once it's finished processing, as I mentioned before, you'll be able to download the video and, and watch it in an MP4 format uh, with no issues. So now the video has finished uh, uploading. So you'll see here, once it's finished uploading, you'll see the window pop up. Click the download button. Again, save it to your desktop or wherever you want to save it. The video will download. 
can close this window and, and again you'll see here too that the conversion has finished the video is ready to download now you go into your folder you'll see our video zoom 03 and you can now see the video and hear the audio because the file format has been converted And this is it. So this is basically an overview uh, again of just recording, uh, transferring files from the camera to the computer.